Hi, welcome to our midweek service. We are so excited to bring this into your homes. You know, I'm really missing to see a lot of people, but I know all this will end soon. But let's make the best of this time. I really hope you are taking this time as a very important and precious time. And I hope and I pray that you are not thinking that this is a waste time. And, and you know, during this time, God has been doing so much in our lives. I just want to be so thankful. My heart is so overwhelmed with gratefulness and thankfulness. I've seen so much of provision. I've seen so much of favor in my life, even during this time. So let's worship God together. We have an amazing set lined up for you into your homes. You can just switch off everything that's going to distract you right now. And just remember that one thing that even if I know God has been doing so many things, but let's just remember that one thing that you're so thankful for during this time. And let's worship God together with everything that we have. And before we begin, I'm just going to start in prayer. Father, we are so grateful for this time. We are thankful for who you are, even during this lockdown period, Lord. And we want to give you our worship. We want to give you our praise. And we just want to say how grateful we are to you, Lord, even during this time. So as our worship leader leads you in worship, let's do this together. Let's give Jesus all our praise, all our worship. In Jesus' name, amen. क्या दे सकता क्या ला सकता कहता तुझे बस शुक्रिया क्या दे सकता हूँ क्या ला सकता हूँ कहता तुझे बस शुक्रिया तुझ में ही मेरी सुबह तुझ में ही हर शाम तुझ से ही करता शुरू हर कोई काम तुझ में ही मेरी सुबह तुझ में ही हर शाम तुझ से ही करता शुरू हर कोई काम शुक्रिया करता हूँ मैं लेके तेरा नाम आदर और धन्यवाद आज तेरे नाम शुक्रिया 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 तेरा Shukriya, 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 Yeshu, Tera. सारी दुनिया तेरी है सब कुछ तूने रचाया है सारी दुनिया तेरी है सब कुछ तूने रचाया है मुझको भी तूने बनाया है तेरे जैसा किया है क्या दे सकता हूँ क्या ला सकता हूँ कहता तुझे बस शुक्रिया क्या दे सकता हूँ क्या ला सकता हूँ कहता 
तुझे बस शुक्रिया 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 तेरा शुक्रिया 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 ये तेरा
When I'm broken and under By your unfailing grace I can lift my voice and say You can have it all, Lord Every part of my world Take this life and breathe on This heart that is now yours You can have it all, Lord Every part of my world Take this life and breathe on This heart that is now yours Surrendering my crown At the feet of a king Who surrendered everything All the peace that come When I'm broken and undone By your own You can have it all, Lord Every part of my world Take this life and breathe on This heart that is now yours You can have it
Life and breathe on this heart that is now yours. Wow, wasn't that an amazing time of worship? I had such an amazing time. You know, we've been receiving so many prayer requests during this time, and I've noticed one thing is. it's all around this one question what does future look like what about our businesses what about our jobs what about our income what about our schools what does future look like and and this is all around fear of not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow and you know the meaning of fear is it's an emotion induced by perceived danger of course we don't know what's going to happen we look our future looks very dangerous but what does god say what does god say about our future you know many years back i had the same questions and i was so anxious there was so much of fear in me but today when i know god i have so much of confidence and i can face this fear with confidence of knowing who god is What does the word say about God? The Bible says in Jeremiah 29:11, "I have a plan for you, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future." So if you have that question, what does the future looks like? Our future looks very prosperous because who is making our plans? Our plans are made by God. It's not a human being who is making our plans, but it is made by God. It's not the leaders of our state and of our country who is making the plans for us, but it's God who is making the plans for us. And His plans are to give us hope and to prosper us. You know, and uh, I I have this very very favorite scripture which has. help me through very difficult times and that is numbers 2319 and i want to leave the scripture with you it says in numbers 2319 god is not a man so he does not lie he is not a human so he does not change his mind has he ever spoken and failed to act has he ever promised and not carried you through This is who God is. He's not a human being that he will change his mind. If he says that his plans are to prosper us, that he means it. He's going to act on it. So I just want to encourage you, trust God. During this time, I want you to spend more time with God because only once you know who God is, with that confidence you can face the fear and you can tell the fear who our God is. Our God is a provider. Our God is a protector. Our God is a healer. Our future is in his hands. So I encourage you during this time, spend more time with God. Get to know his word. What does he say in the Bible? And he is not a human being that he will lie. If he has said something in the word, then he is going to make sure that he is going to act on it. So I want you to spend time with God during this time. Get to know him. Get to know his word. Get to know his promises so so that we can face this fear with confidence of who God is. And I know so many of you all have uh have this uh, have this fear. Let me just pray right now, you know, and 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 I want to encourage you through this word. Father I thank you for each and every person who has joined us this evening Lord. I thank you for each and every person who is watching right now Lord. 
And Father, I pray, Father God, that they will get to know who you really are through your word, Lord. During this time, they're going to spend more time with you, Lord. And as they do it, Lord, hope will arise, faith will arise, and they will face every kind of fear, Lord, with confidence of knowing who you are. Father, I pray for a supernatural faith to arise, supernatural hope to arise right now in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. So yes, I encourage you to spend more time with God and let's, let's, let's face this few more days that are remaining with knowing who God is and that He's never going to leave us nor forsake us. God bless you and we're going to see you soon on Sunday.